Welcome to a special insider's look at the paperless movement. Today, join me and our co-founder Paco Cantero, a true digital productivity pioneer, as we explore Goalscape, a tool that was brought to our attention thanks to one of our paperless movement members. This innovative tool has sparked our curiosity and we couldn't resist sharing our unscripted first impressions with you. Why Goalscape? Well, it's not just about adding another tool to our arsenal. It's about discovering if this could be the key to unlocking higher efficiency in goal organization for us, but also for you, our fellow busy professionals. In this raw, behind the scenes session, we'll dissect Goalscape's potential. Does it align with our ICO methodology? Can it elevate our personal and business tool stack? More importantly, could it revolutionize our goal setting and tracking? Stay with us till the end for our candid conclusion. Will Goalscape earn its place in our daily operations and possibly in yours too? Let's jump right in and find out together. If we don't overcomplicate the things, I think that it's really useful to never lose the big picture, that is something that we cannot visualize using goals on ClickUp, you know, because for me, ClickUp, whenever we have decided that those are the goals we're going to try to achieve and we need to create the tasks, the projects and the leads and everything, all the structure. But to have this strategic vision, for me, this is amazing because first of all, it's visual. So imagine. And the good point is that you can reduce the scope of the things I have created here pretty quickly. But I have to say, I have used it already for my whole planning of the year with all my keys, with everything. Here you you can see the My Life concept and boom, I got everything and gives me all the things that I'm going to simplify right now in here. The thing is that the guy who created this was people who want to be an Olympian and uh, sailing and he achieved and he was doing this manually. And I think that is pretty interesting because here what I have created is a first level that it's the different pillars, the business pillars, so that everything is the same way. And the good point is that whenever you go into any of the circle, boom, you go inside and then you start zooming in and out pretty smoothly. The good point is that here is the big picture that is whenever I double click, I go back and then I can see the strategic planning of the whole year in the different pillars and I have create different colors here to differentiate it so that I can differentiate the different areas. The point is that talking about colors, we can change the colors. So for me, those are the main ones that I can symbolize by using the color, but also using here the importance because I can move this thing. If I, if I unlock this, I can move this so that I represent, you know, the point is that this is also locked so that <laughs> I don't mess around. But if I unlock this, I can represent how important something is. It brings the, the attention outside. And then imagine the moment that we start throwing goals, because this is just for goals to decide to check every week in the agenda mean that quickly and say, man, yes, the things on click are perfectly online. Yes, pretty quickly. And I think that it's really interesting, man, this approach, because for me, it's super useful because this is something that I was always lacking because it's impossible to see it in Miro, in, in something like that. And here it's pretty intuitive. On top of that, the good point about this is that you also have here a Gantt if you want, and then it's pretty easy to plan the goals, you know? Also, you can focus, you say top priority and boom, you got just boom, top priority, boom. Everything is focused, man. You say, I have put here, for instance, this is the number one, publish, plan content with consistency and without suffering. Man, let's focus on this until this is not done. We cannot, we shouldn't move forward and then interact. They are both 50%, but interact on social media and publish is everything. And here, important, define the other strategy here I put for one to to the fifth and here you see I'm I can move this up so we can have a yes this is for for me a satellite app just to have the wide vision and then whenever we're decided then we create the project we follow the the standard workflow but I think that this is pretty interesting for instance here inside product let's at any moment I can remove and I can go back but here I say man Let's focus on product. Boom. 
what are we going to do? Create new three new sources of income apart from membership. Something stupid that comes to mind. But what else, man? Let's think and let's follow the things. Only product, only product. And we start here creating or at any moment we can create the, the sub goals, for instance. And pretty quickly, you know, that is just new goal, product A. There, there are endless levels, you know. We can zoom in and zoom out as we like. And for me, it's uh, something interesting because here we can create. And if we think that at any moment, this should be something I can tell the application to show me all the different circles or just reduce the scope. But here, you know, and again, no matter the level and focusing these things really nice. If I don't want to forget about the top priority, no focus, I forget about the gun and boom, here. I'm seeing, man, my eyes goes to these three things. And also I can, here again, play with the importance. So I say, man, forget, forget about product A. Let's focus on product B. That's it. And then at any moment, I think that the powerful combination with a gun, easy, you know, just for big chunks of period and, and decide and check, for instance, here, generate the, the revenue. The, the point is that here, it's here. I'm inside, no matter if I'm navigating through the Gantt or here. Here, we can start checking and see the progress. Here, we have the margin 3%. You, you see here, we are seeing things that I think that it's to have that wide vision, something that we cannot get in a pro yeah. because I've always been looking for goal management tools. And the point is that most of them try to be a project management tool. And then everything becomes messy because I don't want to keep going down and going down because the moment I go down, I I lose uh, vision of, of it. And here the good point is that I can collapse without any moments. Here I can put the, the different and open the sales, for instance, the weekly ways of achieving the, the things. Also here, there's a little bit of collaboration here, you know, we can create notes, messages, attach a file or, or whatever, you know. The thing is, I love the visualization, 100% agree. This is uh, amazing. Also, when you have the progress, how everything is from top down, that when you, you know, the generate revenue, you made to 30% or whatever. Now you see, and yeah. it starts filling up the sales as well. So I like this one. Now the amazing thing would be, I agree, it could be a great satellite app. So the amazing thing would be now when you go to share, if it is possible to embed this, because then we can embed it on the ClickUp dashboard. And yeah. therefore we have it always accessible. So that's the question now here, embed code, it says already there. Yeah. That's possible. That's amazing. Um, yeah. also, I see, I it. I see I it clearly as well, because... The goals and click up there we have this automatic progress and so on but the big picture and the prioritization of the different goals i really like this uh, setup as well for and me it's, that's what you have just said it's the visualization of the big goals you know the the, the scope because that's something that you get lost with the day to day the things that happen at, at any moment you boom go here we sit here and say man let's reframe the things this is something that it's pretty easy to create dynamism inside the tool, you know, because it's so easy, so simple. And we just define the start date, the due date, that's it. The things we are always talking about because here. Yeah. That's great. And also when you go back, you mentioned the business pillars. So marketing, sales, product, finances is there yeah, probably yeah. as well. And yeah, the point uh, is that I have more for this. Yeah, <laughs> but that's yeah. it. So now we have a weighting of how much we focus on marketing and sales. Therefore, Correct. we could create a view inside ClickUp where we have a percentage that shows us how many tasks are marketing and how many tasks are sales. And then we could see the ratio if it aligns with the ratio that we have here. It's exactly. another way to combine this tool with ClickUp. I, yeah. I really like it. And maybe at some point ClickUp comes up with this, but I don't think so because it's very special. And I know many people will now think, oh, now I should use this for the total goal planning and using the gun and, you know, attaching people to this. And I don't see it. No, that, that's a satellite app that we use on top just for additional visualization. It's very intuitive to use. And the, there I don't see any issues with manual updates because it's really just a rough estimate when you say here generate revenue and we bring up the thing and we just check what it was so far this year and right. that's it there's no complicated collection of kpis for that's the it. type of goals that we will have in there also for the product a and product b 
we still have the automatic goal lists in ClickUp that will track properly how much we yeah, progress correct. into product A and B. And then we can either manually update it here or just check it off whenever we publish the product. But correct. But correct. I like it. It's really amazing. For me, it's been great, man, because it gives me uh, the overall idea. Because uh, imagine whenever I, I go here, I got the, the you know, the, the key is boom, my life. You, you see here, my life, everything, man. I know the things that I want to, to focus, you know, here. Perfect implementation is at man. Focus on the future. Learning. Become an expert. Paperless movement. Publish planning. Now I I know. And, and the moment that I say focus, boom, man. Just look at this and forget about the rest in January. And let's see because those are long term things, you know. And here, you know, I, I got the things that I need to pay attention to at any moment. And I think that to create a strategy this January, we can use this tool to start. Pillar by pillar, defining the goals, defining the priorities, the importance pretty quickly. And here it's a go to place, you know, every uh, week. So that we say, man, are we focused? Are we focused? Are we focused? And the, the tool is forcing us to pay attention and to quickly change. If we say, no, man, no, it appears a product C, man, a product C. And you see the impact because the moment that you see, imagine, no, that now let's liberate everything because I block. Because it's interesting to to block because you say, man, let's focus on marketing. And then it's impossible. You know, you cannot create the time for the product B if that's the case. No, but imagine that something amazing appeared. Man, I came with a great idea. Let's do it. I go here and at any moment I create here quickly product C, C. And I say, no, man. And this is uh, priority, top priority and importance. Boom. 100%. Boom. I go back and I say, no, man, two products. And we say, no, now forget about marketing. I say, now products is the, is the pillar that it's really important. Let's focus and make a push all this week with this. You see the contraction and how you are missing. And you say, man, now what do we do? The published content, the product C, no, man, let's let's focus. The, and, and I think that these guys nail it because it's so intuitive, so visual. Here at any moment you see when you are losing the moment, you say, no, no, it's pretty important. No, it's it's something that for me, I consider crucial, man. Because here you say, man, we're not dedicating time to operation, man. Let's open operation. What is the thing? It's make administration operation work smoothly. That's something important. And then it's, a, an, for me, great tool for decision making, man. And also visual that for the big picture, it's visual, the only thing that works. And also a visual tool that specialize on this, you know, because on Miro, it becomes messy. It's slow. It here we can start just focus finances. What are we gonna do? Boom, boom, boom. Create the things and quickly move and say, man, these are the priority. Black and for instance, create these rules of man, one red thing for each pillar, man, at least, so that we keep running the system and um, those things and this combination because this will help a lot. This gun from a white perspective to create the other one. Now it would be nice ClickUp. if there would be an API that connects to ClickUp because then as they yeah. have a gun in there and they have started end dates, that would be amazing because then you could create Yeah, but the point is that here, here I don't want to go so deep in the because for me, it's just, man, uh, generate here. Where are the projects from here? We create the projects and uh, create. I agree that the thing is we have our routine in the agenda meeting. And in the agenda meeting, we have the recurring task to check the goal dashboards. And therefore, it would be this. And this is the task that we do then every Monday, checking in here if he's still on track or if there's Correct. Because, because it's always we... rough. That's where people shouldn't get confused. And say now we have we are approaching the end of January. We didn't finish the goal. No, everything is run by ClickUp and the planning and, the, and this is it. And here it is just the direction to keep the direction going and the focus That's on it. the right things. That's it. Because for me, I want to manually move the goal to ClickUp, the one that we are really committed, and say, man, we need to deliver two products then we create the goal and they could create a project for product a product b all the tasks and all the thing and here is just what you have just said is just telling the direction and this is something that it's amazing because at any moment <laughs> if something unexpected we see the impact how it influences and here we see the overlapping also with this just yes, man the moment that we quickly make this filter of top priority and we see it here and we say see the gun say man 
it's impossible to forget about it. We're trying to cover too many things and we should never forget the red things, you know, the red things. And for me, beautiful thing, man, simple. We should invite the CEO or the founder or developer of this tool. They are just interview. two or three people, man. It's a pretty small company. Uh, the, I have seen all the testimonials coming from really amazing companies. I don't know if they are friends of him or whatever. It's pretty expensive if you bet on the enterprise thing, but talking about the the pro, it's, I think it's 99 per year or something like that. For me, it's worth it, man. For me, it's worth it. And it's another missing gap that we had. And in January, we can quickly sit down and start, well, working on this and and define everything. And this is our, the way to know the the direction you know and that wraps up our first hand exploration of goalscape within the paperless movement intrigued by how this tool might evolve in our business tool stack especially alongside clickup stay in the loop with us join our paperless movement membership where you can dive deeper into tool discussions share your thoughts and get personal insights from paco and myself we are not just discussing tools, we are building robust end-to-end -end productivity systems together with our community. Your journey to peak productivity doesn't end here. It evolves with us every step of the way. So hit that subscribe button, join our membership and let's continue to redefine productivity together. Thanks for watching and we can't wait to share our next discovery with you.